So we're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going to have a guest tutorial on Final Cut Grill episode 26. We spoke with Dustin Hoy, and this is his lower third character generator swap out trick he mentioned on that episode. All right, Chris, this is uh, the visual example of what we were discussing earlier with updatable motion templates. Um, so I've got a spot picked out here for my lower third, and I'm going to go ahead and just grab my first network graphic, which is an NBC Sports lower third. And um, I've got all of these set up so that uh, for the assistant editor or um, let's say anyone really, they can look at this as an example that would come right out of like the network's QC PDF. Um, the kerning, the text size, color, uh, font, all that stuff is already set up visually and, and technically for them. So they just have to enter the information in. Um, this particular motion template is set up to do the talent badge uh, one drop. But they simply can name... Oops name the talent and then provide the information for the one drop but you only have to enter this information in once which is really nice because once you've done this and you've clicked off of it um, if you work across if you use duplicate timelines and you, you you know you duplicate your timeline and now you want to change over all your NBC graphics to WFN um, all you'd need to do which is another network is you just switch to that motion template have this selected and double click it and it's gonna it's gonna change the graphic around the text field um, you know obviously I've got my WFN uh, motion template set up to default to a one drop badge as well so right out of the gate it's gonna match um, the other way that I, the way that we actually use this is we actually have multiple lower thirds turned on and off in a timeline. So I'm just going to back up for a second here. And uh, so after I would enter the text information, um, what you can do is just use your arrow key to go to the front of the clip, copy, paste on top, and it's going to create a duplicate. Then you select that lower third and update that lower third. And then you can just toggle between them depending on what network you're delivering to. It's actually really, really slick. Um, just to show off what these um, motion templates look like, I guess, is that uh, you can see here um, when I select it in the inspector, I've got the entire graphics package for NBC um, here um, where I can select any version of it from the drop down. So, while like talent gets badges, um, we might actually be identifying, for example, this Lawrence unit in the shot. And I can just easily switch that. Um, so long as the lower third and text fields match up, I've already got all the text pre-placed um, so that you could easily just rename the lower thirds right here in Final Cut, but all again, all of the uh, requirements for text color placement, kerning, size, font, all that kind of stuff is already set up. Um, but yeah, that's it. And those work exactly the same if you were to start. Now here's a good example. Um, now that I've changed this from its default, it's no longer the batch one drop, but I still want to update it uh, the same as before. All I would need to do is again, copy, paste on top, Option select this thing, um, this thing, this graphic, and then uh, go uh, over here again and select World Fishing Network. Now it's going to default to the badge, but it is going to update around the text. So all I have to do is then change my selections, which are the same as the other network, and boom, I'm done. That's all there is to it. It's a really easy way and fast way to not have to re-enter text information for every single graphic that you're creating for every different network.